videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. The past few years have definitely been busy for Jason Momoa. Not only has he been putting the finishing touches on his long-awaited sequel to Aquaman, but since appearing in 2016's Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, this Hollywood actor has starred in a total of 6 DC Extended Universe projects. Unfortunately for Jason, his personal life is also keeping him pretty busy. After meeting his childhood crush Elisa Bonet at a jazz club in 2005, Momoa somehow convinced her to drive him back to the motel he was living in at the time. On the way there, they stopped for some food at a coffee shop and Bonet ordered Guinness and grits. From that point forward, these two were in love. Well, until quite recently, that is. After welcoming their daughter, Lola, in 2007 and their son, Nicole Wolf, the following year, Jason and Lisa moved into a gorgeous estate in Topanga, Los Angeles, with 10.1 acres of land that's believed to be valued at just over $3.5 million. Over the years, Jason occasionally gave his fans a sneak peek into his home life on social media, as well as in an interview with Men's Journal where he invited the publication to visit him at home and snap a few candid pics. Thanks to that interview, we know that Jason's home, perched on top of a hill on the outskirts of Los Angeles, is full of impressive recreational activities. And I'm talking things that you wouldn't expect, such as a skateboard ramp and a 25-foot climbing wall. Momoa told Men's Journal that he's been climbing walls since he was 14 and skateboarding since he was 8. He specifically discussed his connection with climbing, clarifying, This is my love. It's always kept me humble, grounded, outdoors, and pushing myself, scaring myself. On the wall, it's a flow. You're problem solving, creating something. It's the perfect real world mental and physical test. Want to know another hobby that Jason likes to partake in around his family home? No, it's not preparing a five-star meal. Instead, he likes to pass the time by throwing axes anywhere and everywhere he can. I mean, he's even got his kids doing it. He's also occasionally shown off these shiny weapons in the middle of his home's entranceway. That's how we know he's got a white railing there with steps that lead upstairs to the second floor. When he opens a new delivery of axes to toss around, he's shown them off to his fans by unboxing his newest beauties on a countertop in his kitchen, which boasts dark wooden cupboards and built-in appliances just behind him. Jason and Lisa also kept a greenhouse in their backyard where they grew squash, eggplant, carrots, basil, kale, arugula, and collard greens. I'm using the past tense there because of recent developments. After having been together for well over 15 years, in January of 2022, Jason and Lisa announced that their relationship had come to an end. Jason was the one who moved out, but he didn't go far, and he also didn't move into a new home. Instead, he walked over to his garage, climbed into his RV, and drove away. When Jason Momoa was still in his 20s and hadn't yet met Lisa Bonet, he lived for a number of years at an old Airstream RV that he kept parked near the city of Valencia so that he could go climbing anytime he felt like. After meeting Lisa, a lot about Jason's life changed, but he never lost his love for RVs and the freedom that comes along with hitting the open road. In fact, the Hollywood superstar even showed up to the Aquaman premiere in 2019, not necessarily in style, but in the comfort of his newly acquired Earth Roamer recreational vehicle. We didn't know it at the time, but soon enough, Jason will be spending a lot more time inside that thing. After he and Lisa split early last year, speculation was running wild that Jason was living out of this vehicle, especially once the Daily Mail tracked him down to a friend's lawn not far from where he used to live with Lisa and his kids. With a truck-like body and four-wheel drive, Jason's RV can traverse far more intense terrain than your typical model. Officially speaking, this camper is what's known as an Earth Roamer LTI, and it was entirely custom designed by the star to the tune of around $750 thousand dollars. This was to ensure that it had everything he could need, including a king size bed, an espresso machine, induction cooktop, and an outdoor kitchen. Now, considering the developments in his personal life, Jason's probably had a pretty tough go of it this past year, but at least he's had the chance to return to his roots, living out of his RV like he's done in the past. 
One insider told English media publication The Sun, he stays in it quite often and has opted to sleep in there instead of getting a hotel on set so he can be by the beach. He's really not a private jet luxury resort kind of guy. Hey, one thing's for sure, living in an RV, even a luxurious one like this is a lot cheaper than your average celebrity home. When news first broke about Jason and Lisa's split, the general consensus over what happened between them appeared to be related to the DC star's former nomadic lifestyle. After having spent a considerable amount of his young adulthood not working, now that he's one of the most in-demand actors on the planet, Jason wants to continue booking gigs as often as possible, meaning he's almost always on the go. Lisa, on the other hand, was content in Los Angeles and reportedly had no interest on joining her husband on location wherever he happened to have been shooting. So. With Jason on the road most of the time and Lisa in LA, the distance eventually took a toll on their relationship. Thus, the split. Thankfully, both actors still care a lot about each other and remain on very good terms. There was even some hope around Christmas time that maybe they were getting back together after Jason was photographed bringing a Christmas tree to his former family home. But. According to the follow-up reporting, that was simply Jason being a good father and a supportive ex. The two are not getting back together. Which leaves us with one last question. Where does Jason Momoa go next? Well, we did a lot of digging and discovered that according to tax records, Jason actually owns a 5.5 acre property on Kauai Islands, North Shore in Hawaii. But unfortunately, what it looks like is a complete mystery. The only other rumor I could uncover was a suggestion that Jason is building himself a new home in the city of Fort Collins in northern Colorado. I'll admit this one's probably a reach, but Jason used to live in Fort Collins during that earlier transient period of his life, working as a waiter at a local restaurant while living in the Rams Point apartment complex. A few years later, he decided to move back to Hawaii to pursue surfing, which is what led him to getting discovered for his first big acting role on the 1999 series Baywatch Hawaii. Now, some mysterious individuals hiring work crews and having them all sign NDAs in the Fort Collins area to build a giant new mansion. Could it be Jason? Possibly, but NDAs don't really sound like his style. But wherever Jason ends up next, it likely will have ties to his former life as a nomad. I mean, this is the guy who named his own production company Pride of Gypsies after all. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. Before you head out, consider answering the following question. What's the longest amount of time you could live in an RV for? Let's say it's a glamorous RV like Jason's is. Well, let me know if you could spend years on the open road like Jason can. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara, and if you dug this look into Jason Momoa's home life, then keep watching, because up next, I'm taking you inside the home of Jason's stepdaughter, Zoe Kravitz. I'll see you all next time. Bye.